warning signs of a blood clot that you should never ignore. But there are times when blood clots are more cautious like when one sets inside of your major veins. This is convened as deep vein thrombosis, DVT, if the blood clot remains where it is in your physique. It's usually not dangerous, but if left untreated, it can go across through your veins to your heart and lungs. A blood clot in the lungs is known as pulmonary embolism. This can be harmful and needs medical attention. Signs of a blood clot. Racing heart. A blood clot in your lungs may be hampering the flow of oxygen in your lungs, and a quick heart rate may arise. In understandable terms, the heart is striving to reimburse for the shortage and may start beating rapidly. Chest pain. Several people keeping a pulmonary embolism think it's a heart attack because the distress is similar. The warning sign could be a blood clot if the discomfort is sharp or stabbing, and air is worse while taking a deep breath. The pain might get in a worse situation with every breath you inhale. Shortness of breath. A blood clot in your lung might bring difficulties to inhale due to the slow oxygen flow. You might sure unexpectedly feel faint like you're around to lose consciousness. Unexplained cough. People usually liken a cough along with a cold or strap throat. Still, if you are suffering from a dry cough with no possible explanation that appears to have come out of nowhere, it could be the indication of a pulmonary embolism. If you cough up mucus or blood, immediately call for medical help. Skin discoloration? If you are suffering from deep vein thrombosis, it may result in a patch or stake of redness on your arm or leg. It might also sense warm and tender when you touch it. Sudden swelling. If you see one ankle or shin unexpectedly come to be swollen, this could indicate deep vein thrombosis. This might occur if blood flow in the legs is being obstructed, resulting in blood pooling behind the clot and puff up. Arm or leg pain. This might hardly sense like muscle cramping, but pay attention if the pain is awful when you're stepping or turning your foot upward. The skin around the injury may be ready, swollen, or warm as well. Blood clot prevention. There are some preventive measures you can do to lower your risk for blood clots. Learn your risk. It would help if you talked to your doctor about your chance for blood clots. Suppose you're at an increased risk and practically concerned to do something that will lower the chances of a blood clot forming. Strive for overall healthy habits. You should stay physically healthy and don't smoke. The high risk of blood clots is yet another intention to stop the smoking habit. Talk with your healthcare providers. It would be best to talk with your healthcare providers to get back on your feet shortly after surgery. Try to maintain any health conditions, like diabetes or high blood pressure under control.